Calculating multiple choice question exam reliability in Excel using Cooder Richardson Formula 21, abbreviated as KR21. Cooder Richardson Formula 21 is different from the Cooder Richardson Formula 20. However, the formula calculates the reliability of binary test. Binary means that it's dichotomous, only have two options, such as multiple choice questions in which the answer can be either correct or incorrect. Correct will be given a value of one, an incorrect answer will be given a value of zero. So the KR21 measures the consistency of exam scores. The formula assesses the inter-item consistency. And the Cooder Richardson Formula 21 is used instead of the KR20 when the questions in a test all have approximately the same difficulty i.e. the mean score of each question is approximately equal to the mean score of all the questions. The KR21 values range from 0 to 1. 0 mean unreliable exam or test. A value of 1 means that it's extremely or it is an excellent reliability of a test or an exam. Kuda Richardson Formula 21 is described here equal to K divided by K minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus the division of mean multiplied by the k minus the mean divided by the k multiplied by the variance the k here stands for the total number of questions the variance is the variance of the total score and the mean is for the mean of the population the following table shows the KR21 value and the reliability level. If an exam has a value of KR21 of 0.9 or greater, then the test will have an excellent reliability. A KR21 value between 0.8 and 0.89 is considered as a good reliability. A test that will have an acceptable reliability when the value for KR21 is between 0.7 and 0.79. And that a questionable reliability of a test when the value ranges between 0.6 and 0.69. A test will have poor reliability when the value is between 0.5 and 0.59 and a multiple choice question exam or test will have an unacceptable reliability or is unreliable when the value for the KR21 is less than 0.5. Reliability test for multiple choice question exam in Excel using Cooder Richardson Formula 21, abbreviated as KR21. Reliability test measures the internal consistency of items or questions, i.e. the score consistency. If an exam or a test 
that consists of multiple choice question is repeated with the same student at different date, the student scores in both dates will be similar, i.e. the scores will be consistent and the exam will be reliable. So one of the method to test reliability is to use the KR21 formula. However, this formula only used in certain conditions instead of the formula KR20. So there are two formula KR20 and KR21. The KR21 is used when the questions have similar difficulties, i.e. the question mean score is equal to the mean score for the total questions. The KR21 value ranges from 0 to 1. 0 indicates a non-reliable or unreliable test and 1 means that the test is extremely reliable. The formula for the KR21 equal to K divided by K minus 1 multiplied by in between bracket 1 minus the product of mean multiplied by k minus the mean divided by k multiplied by the variance. k stands for the total number of questions. Mean is the mean for the total score and variance is the variance for the total score. Here in Excel, I have a data for an exam result for 10 students answered 15 multiple choice questions, question number one to question number 15, and they scored the result and the result was reported as either zero or one. Zero means wrong answer, one means correct answer. So this data here is a dichotomous data or binary data. There's only two options, zero or one, right or wrong. And to evaluate and assess the reliability of this exam that has the 15 multiple choice questions, I will use the KR21 formula given here in this corner. And uh, to do that, I had taken part of this formula and placed it here in this column. And uh, the first step for doing the analysis for the test for the reliability is to calculate the total score achieved by each individual student. And the way to do that is to add all the scores achieved by every student together. So in this column here as Q we're going to call it total score. And then in the cell below I'm going to add up all the value or the scores achieved by each student. And the way to do that is to click on the symbol for sum and then select the range of the data or input data from Q1 to Q15. Hit the enter key and the value of 14 is generated which is equal to the correct answer uh, achieved by the first student. To calculate the total score for the list of the student hold the cell, drag, and then the software will auto-calculate and auto-fill the value for each individual student. So now we have, I have obtained the total score. The next step is to calculate the mean. To calculate the mean is to select the cell here and then scroll down to the average and then select the range of the data from student of total score for the first student up to the student number 10 and hit the enter 
key uh, value of 6.2 represent the mean for the total score the next step is to calculate the variance for the total score again select the cell insert equal sign and then type var which stands for variance and choose the first option double click on it and then select the range of the input data from number student number one to student number 10 with their total score and then close the bracket and then hit the enter key a value of 22.36 is generated now to calculate the kr value I'm going to copy and paste this value to the corresponding uh, mean and variance. So if we select the mean here, copy and then place it with and paste it here with this option and then select the variance, copy and place it here into the variance with this option. Now we have the mean and the variance already calculated. The K stands for the total number of question. questions. In this case, there are 15 questions. Next step is to calculate the upper part in this equation. equation. And the way to do that is to insert the equal sign and then select the mean and then open and uh, multiply that by uh, and then open a bracket and inside the bracket we're going to place the k k here is 15 subtraction minus sign and then the mean again select this value again and if we hit the enter key a uh, value has been generated to calculate the lower part of this equation here again insert the equal sign as as the k is 15 here and then multiply that by inserting this multiplication sign by the variance that we already calculated and then hit the enter a value is generated now the final step is to assemble all this component all this part for this formula to calculate and to generate the kr21 value so in this cell, insert equal sign and then open a bracket, then add the multiplication sign and then another bracket. In the first bracket, going to add the k divided by k minus 1, which is equal to 15 divided by 14. In the second bracket, I'm going to add number one, then minus the upper part divided by the lower part. And the upper part is this value here. And then we are going to add the division sign divided by the lower part, which is this value here, and then hit the enter key. A value for reliability has been generated and it is equal to 0.9 looking at the table here for the kr21 value and corresponding reliability the test or this test or this exam is extremely reliable as shown from this table any value for the reliability of 0.9 and greater will have an excellent reliability. An exam will have a good reliability when the value is between 0.8 and 0.89. An acceptable test with acceptable reliability will have a value of 0.7 to 0.79. A questionable exam when its reliability has a value of 0.6 to 0.69 a value of kr21 
ranges between 0.5 and 0.59 will have a poor reliability and an exam or a test will be unacceptable or unreliable when the KR21 value is less than 0.5. So this is the way to evaluate and assess the reliability of an exam or a test that only contains multiple choice questions by using the KR21 formula only in certain conditions when the questions have similar difficulties.